Welcome to our video tutorial here on transformations, specifically translations and constructing them. What we want to do is we want to take this triangle and translate it in this direction given by the arrow, the amount as indicated by the arrow. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our handy dandy compass and we're going to put the point of our compass at the point end point of our ray or our arrow there. Then we're going to put the tip of the pencil at the tip of the arrow. Once we have that, let's go to point X first. So we will move the point of our compass to point X. And then we're going to make an arc that same size. Make sure your compass doesn't change size around point X. We know that the new point X will have to be on that arc for it to follow the arrow we have. Secondly, put the point of our compass at the end point of our arrow and put the pencil tip on X. What we're going to do then is move the point of the compass over to the tip of the arrow and keep the compass the same size. And then we're going to make a second arc. Where those arcs intersect, that is our new point X. So we will put a point right there and we'll call it X prime. Remember that's like the apostrophe right by it. Please label it accordingly. Then we're going to take our compass and repeat that process. <coughs> then we're going to take our compass and repeat that process. So the point of the compass at the end point of the arrow, we're going to put the pencil tip at the tip of the arrow. And I'm going to color code this differently here. Now we will go to Y. Point of the compass at Y, keep the compass that same size and we'll make the arc. Then we always put the point of the compass back at the end point of our arrow. Now we're going to put our pencil tip on Y. Once we have that, we're going to keep the compass that size, move the point of the compass to the tip of the arrow and make the second arc. Where those two arcs intersect, that is our new point Y. So I'll put a Y right there. And not only am I going to put a Y, but I'll put it as Y prime with a little apostrophe. Last but not least, point of the compass at the end point of our arrow, pencil tip of our compass at the tip of the arrow, move the point over to Z, make our one arc. Then point of the compass comes back to the end point of the arrow, pencil tip this time on Z, move it to the tip of the arrow and make our second arc where those two arcs intersect. That will be the new point Z and we'll name it as Z apostrophe or Z prime. And finally, we have to connect those points up. Now go through the center of the points. So X prime goes to Y prime, center of the point. Y prime goes to Z prime, center of the point. Try to be right on it. And then Z prime comes back up here to X prime. Should look like we translated our triangle and the amount as indicated. 